I rise this morning to proudly pay tribute to my mentor, my political father, my predecessor, my friend, my Kakabawe brother, the Honorable Elvin G. Nimrod of blessed memory. We call in the life of Mr. Elvin G. Nimrod, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell, the final speaker in the joint sitting, openly shed tears for the man he refers to as his brother. The current parliamentary representative for the Sister Isles was given the opportunity to give the first tribute to the late Elvin Nimrod. Kendra Machuin Stewart said it was a sad time for her and the people of Kariko and Piti Matnik as they mourn the passing of his talwat. Mr. President, Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Elvin Nimrod, as he told me, entered into politics because he felt the need and that deep-rooted desire to enhance and to improve the lives of the people of Karaku and Piti Matnik. She said as a parliamentarian, Nimrod served the people of the Sister Isles for 19 consecutive years. Minister Macho and Stewart stated the late parliamentarian was instrumental in the desalination plant construction as well as several other projects in Kariku and Piti Matnik. Opposition leader Tobias Clement, reminiscing on the life of Elvin Nimrod, said Nimrod started as an independent candidate and not a member of the new national party. He promoted a vision for Karaku that is still lasting today. In that he said to me in our discussion then as a youth that imagine two prime ministers came from Karaku, H.A. Blaze and Nicholas Brothwick. And he cannot understand why Karaku is not getting its fair share. And that was his mantra, the fair share for Karaku and Piti Martinik. President of the Senate, Chester Humphrey, Senator Simon Steele and Nolan Cox, both from Karaku, shared their connections and relationships with the late parliamentarian. Agriculture Minister Peter David spoke on his long-standing relationship with Elvin Nimrod, which dated back to practicing law together in New York. Remember? Our struggles in the Parliament of Grenada, that the years when there was eight, seven in the Parliament, <laughs> it was, you know, one of us had to go last before the leader of the opposition and the Prime Minister. One of us always had to go last. And we were always going at each other. But what stood out for me is that when we left Parliament, we was mopsido and petrol. We were good. I remember once. But over the years, we had these issues. Who ended up going last? And I would somehow get to last, but Mopsido, this one time, he worked on me. As it was coming down to the end, he disappeared from the hall. So we assumed he left because he had an emergency. So when it came down to me, I stood and I started speaking. Five minutes after which Mopsido walks into the room and say, I catch you today. <laughs> Many of the parliamentary representatives and senators were in high praise for the passion Nimrod had shown for the people of Kariku and Piti Matnik while extending condolences to his family. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.